Let's discuss this with a security expert, Mukta Dad Ian. Good to have you join us at this hour, Mukta. Um, like we stated, you know, in, in that report, this is a situation of terrorism where you have um, ISIS and Al Qaeda. But we also have other um, communities now attacking Fulani headers, accusing them of um, working with the insurgents. Uh, w what do you make of that? Well, what has happened is the government in Burkina Faso had decided to arm civilian volunteers, kind of like the JTF in northern Nigeria. So the, the um, government of Burkina Faso had decided to arm civilian volunteers to fight both the Islamic uh, State outpost and the Al-Qaeda out outpost. And unfortunately, uh, some believed that some of these Fulani people, they're not necessarily herdsmen, they're just Fulani people living in that area, uh, who were armed by the government, had turned their arms uh, against the people uh, by siding with the Islamic terrorists. So from all indications, this was some sort of reprisal attack against uh, them. All right, so like you rightly said, there was a law uh, passed by the government to arm civilians. Um, when you look at that yeah. now, what is the implication of that? Because again, this is for security purposes to curb the insurgency. But what is the uh, implication of that now on the security in Burkina Faso? Well, I mean, I, I think in many ways it's the right thing to do because for... Uh, reasons best known to them, both the Islamic State and Al-Qaeda have decided to make uh, Mali, uh, Burkina Faso, and even Senegal uh, part of their territorial expansion uh, agenda. And uh, in the past, they used to hit remote places, but now they're even targeting more densely populated areas uh, just to show people that they can provide an alternative and if they... Uh, choose to, they can disrupt life. So the government of Burkina Faso, knowing that it doesn't have enough regular military personnel, decided to arm civilians. Uh, unfortunately, in situations such as this, it's hard to tell who is who uh, without being in the thick of things. And because uh, northern Burkina Faso is technically so far from Ouagadougou, it seems uh, the government may have armed people who are not necessarily aligned with uh, the aims of the government in protecting the peace. All right, there, has, there is um, a supposed path to peace, but the insurgents are saying that for that to happen, for, the, for, their, for them to come to the table for talks, uh, the government has to let go of the um, French, UN and French forces. What do you make of that situation? Well, I mean, the G5 will not be letting go of that area anytime, especially France. Because, again, the Islamic State and uh, Al-Qaeda both want to control the area. And if Western powers, uh, the term goes, were to leave the government of Burkina Faso to stand for itself, uh, it's very likely that uh, that government will collapse very quickly. All right, security so expert. demand is untenable. Security expert, Mukta Dan Ian, many thanks for your time.